look at this idea of inheritance. Now inheritance is where a folder or a file inherits its NTFS permissions from the parent folder above. So let's take a look at how this works. So here we are in our data folder and let's create a couple folders. First one I'll call docs. And then inside the docs folder, let's create a couple more folders, a couple of subfolders. We'll call one achievers docs. Rowdy docs. And then inside of each of these folders, let's create a couple files. We'll do a rich text document here. And then inside of our rowdy docs folder, we'll do another file. This time we'll just do a plain text document. Now again, the idea of inheritance is the rowdy docs folder will inherit its permissions from the docs folder and the docs folder will inherit its permissions from the data. Again, achievers will inherit its permissions from docs and docs will inherit its permissions from data. If I go into our data folder here, go to properties and security, you'll see that we have Charlie and Billy and Sam and the achievers group and the rowdy group. If I go down here to the achievers docs folder, go to properties and look at its permissions, you'll see it has the exact same permissions. Charlie, Billy, Sam, Achievers, Rowdy. So the Achievers Docs folder is inheriting its permissions from its parent folder. Now by default this is the way it works and most times this is the way we want it to work. We want to create a folder, share it, set NTF permissions on it, and then have those permissions apply to any child folders or files that are created after that. But what if we wanted not to do that. What if we wanted the docs folder not to inherit permissions? We wanted the achievers folder not to inherit its permissions from data. Let's see how we can adjust that. So let's say for example that we have our docs folder here and the only users that we want to be able to get in here are our users from the achievers group and the rowdy group and of course our administrator accounts also. So let's see how we can stop inheritance on this folder and adjust the permissions. So what we'll do is we'll right click on our docs folder and go to properties. We'll go to our security tab, advanced, change permissions. And then we need to uncheck include inheritable permissions from this object's parent. When we uncheck that, the docs folder will no longer inherit its permissions from the data folder. And we're prompted here whether we want to save the permissions that are currently assigned to the docs folder or if we want to remove all the permissions so we can set them up. And again, I usually click add which will save the permissions that are currently assigned to our docs folder. I'll click on apply and OK and OK. So now our docs folder is not inheriting permissions anymore. And because our docs folder is no longer inheriting its permissions from data, we're able to adjust our permissions. Now remember we wanted to have the achievers group, the rowdy group, and administrative groups to get into our docs folder but nobody else. So let's go ahead and remove some of these other groups and user accounts. So here's Charlie. We know we don't want them to, him to be able to get in there. So we're going to click on edit. We're going to click on remove Charlie. We're going to remove Billy. Sam is the account that I'm using so I'll go ahead and leave that one. Let's go ahead and leave the Rowdy group and the Achievers group and our local administrators group. So I'll click on Apply and OK. And now we know that only the Rowdy group and the Achievers group and then my account also Sam and the local administrators and the domain administrators because the domain administrators are in this local administrators group. Now the administrators in these two groups in my account are the only ones that can get into these folders. I'll click on OK. Now one thing I want you to notice is that any permissions we set on the docs folder will apply down to the achievers docs folder and the rowdy docs folder. So if I go down here to achievers docs, click on properties, go to security, you'll see my account still in there, the rowdy group, the achievers, and the administrators, but nobody else can get in there. So the Achievers folder is still inheriting permissions from the Docs folder. If I go to the file inside of Achievers, go to Properties, you'll see the same thing applies. Okay. Files and folders are inheriting its permissions from the parent folder. 
and of course the same thing applies to our Rowdy Docs folder. Now let's say that we only wanted achievers to be able to read in the Docs folder. We didn't want them to be able to delete or change files. So let's go back in here and click on Properties, go to Security, let's go to the Rowdy group, Rowdy group. We'll click Edit here to modify our permissions. We'll click on the Rowdy group. And right now the Rowdy group has the right permissions, and so we only want to give the Rowdy group the three read permissions. So I'll click on Apply and OK. Oh, and then don't forget about the Achievers group. Again, they have the Modify permissions, so we want to uncheck Modify and Write. And again, we only want the Rowdy group and the Achievers group to have read permissions on the Docs folder. So now both Rowdy and Achievers only have the three read permissions. Click on Apply and OK and OK. And again, if I go down to these child folders, you'll see that Rowdy has read and Achievers have read. Also notice that these permissions are grayed out, which means that this folder, the Rowdy Docs folder, is inheriting the permissions. That's why we can't change them because it's inherited. So whenever you see the check marks that are grayed out that you can't change, that means it's inheriting permissions from its parent folder. So now we know that the Achievers group and the Rowdy group can only read inside of the Docs folder and inside of these two child folders. But what if we wanted to give Achievers group full permissions to its files inside of the Achievers Docs folder? And we wanted to give the Rowdy group full permissions to its Docs. And let's further complicate it. Let's say that we wanted to give Achievers group full permissions to this and we wanted to give Rowdy the read permission only. And again, in the Rowdy Docs folder, we want to give Achievers read permissions here, but we want to give the Rowdy group full permissions. How can we adjust that? So again, I'm going to click on the Achievers group, go to Properties, click on Security, Advanced, Change Permissions, and then we're going to uncheck Include Inheritable Permissions. I'll click on Add to save the current permissions, Apply and OK, OK again. And now we can go in and we can edit the permissions on our Achievers Docs folder. So remember the Rowdy group, we only wanted them to have read and that's what they have. And the Achievers group, we want to give them full permissions. I'll click on Apply and OK. So now in the Achievers Docs folder, the Achievers group has full permissions to the files and folders inside of this, this, this folder and the Rowdy group only has read permissions. Let's do the same thing for our Rowdy folder. Go to the Rowdy Docs folder, Properties, again, we're going to go to Security, Advanced, Change Permissions, Uncheck Include Inheritable Permissions, Add to save the permissions that we have, click on OK, and Rowdy. Well, we have to click Edit here, so we'll click on the Rowdy group, we want to give the Rowdy group full permissions for its Rowdy Docs folder. And Achievers, we only want Achievers to be able to read, and those are assigned there by default. I'll click on Apply and OK. OK. And now, Achievers have full permissions, Rowdy has read, Rowdy to this folder has full permissions, and Achievers only have read. I want you to also notice that the permissions have been applied down to the files. If I click on this, on properties of the document, click on securities, you'll see again, Rowdy has full, Achievers have the read permission, and so any documents or folders we might create inside of this folder are going to be inheriting the permissions from our Rowdy Docs folder. So it's important to remember that the folders will always inherit their permissions from their parent folder unless we go in there and uncheck that. Now the other thing I want you to keep in mind is that if we look at, let's go to the Rowdy Docs folder and look at our NTFS permissions. Remember that users across the network, if they're in the Rowdy group, will have full permissions to this folder. But remember, when we're figuring out effective permissions, we also have to take into account the share permissions. So users that are part of the Rowdy group that are connecting to the data folder that we've shared, remember if they only have read and the Rowdy Docs folder has full permission, remember they still only have the read permission. So be aware that when we're figuring out permissions, 
we still have to take into account the share in the NTFS permissions, even though these are subfolders or child folders of other folders. So make sure you're looking at both tabs, both the share permissions and the NTFS permissions, when you're figuring out the total final effective permissions. Now there's one more setting I want you to be aware of. Let's go ahead and click Cancel on here. What if we wanted to reset the permissions on all these folders? What if we wanted the permissions that were in our data folder to be applied to all these folders and files down here? What if we wanted to reset these permissions? We could go to our data folder. We could click on Properties. Click on Security. Advanced. Change Permissions. And you might have noticed this little checkbox right here. Replace all child object permissions with inheritable permissions from this object. So by placing a check mark here and clicking on Apply and OK, all permissions that have been assigned to our data folder will now be reset or applied down to all these folders. So if I click on this and click on Apply, and it's stating here that we have set specific or explicit permissions on some of these folders. Do we want to continue? Click on Yes, click on Apply, and OK. So now what we've done is we've taken all the permissions that were assigned to the data folder and reapplied them to all of these child folders. And you'll see now, if I go here to the Docs folder, that now the Docs folder is again inheriting permissions from the data folder and all of our groups are back assigned. If I go all the way down to the Rowdy folder, go to Properties, you can see that, again, the Rowdy folder is inheriting permissions from the, the Docs folder and from the Data folder. So that's how you can reset NTFS permissions and apply them down to all the child folders and files.